Hi there, I'm Krista, pet parent and human to Shih Tzu Capri. Here I am teaching Capri how to do twirl. Twirling is something she does when she's excited anyway, so I thought I would use this to my advantage. But starting out, I lured her up and then I would have her turn. And anytime she would get just a little bit around, I would go ahead and click and treat. She's still not able to get all the way around on command, but we're getting there. Teaching Capri to back up, started out with a table so that she would go straight back and just put the treat in front of her nose and pushed her back is how I started. I'll give an update on this soon. We just started doing this recently. So this is how I introduced Craw to Capri. She already yeah. knows the down, so I started off Craw. by having her go down. And then anytime she would reach her paw out towards my hand, Craw. I would click and treat and just Craw. gradually Craw. moved my hand further and further away. Mm -hmm. Then I introduced the name, Craw. Mm -hmm. And one thing I would recommend mm -hmm. is try not to repeat Craw. Craw 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 when you think your puppy's not understanding give her at least seven seconds to process and you'll see she'll get it craw. Yeah, teaching capri how to roll over yeah, was roll over. a challenge it is a challenge to this day she oh, is not one to yeah. freely roll over for belly up on a regular basis unless she wants her tummy rubbed yes. yeah. um so this was really tough getting her to yeah. be comfortable yeah. with being lord yeah she did it the first over. time well, um so yeah. anytime yeah. she would go yeah. onto her side and right. relax i would click a treat over. and then i, I kept doing that, that. Yeah. and when she would roll over so it was a party cool. So here we're working on some confidence building using the steps. The steps uh, started because she was okay going up them. It was coming down that she yeah. had problems with. Um, she was up on the third step at one point yeah. and decided she was just gonna jump all the way down and bypass the bottom yeah, two steps. And that really scared me. So I decided I needed to work with her on going down one step at a time. And basically what I'm doing here is just treating each, you know, putting a treat on yeah. each step up and then each yeah. step down, yeah. showing her one step at a time. Because that really scared me. What? And uh, okay. here she is. She, she does really well with it now. This is our kitty tunnel. <laughs> and at puppy now preschool, she, she was really afraid true. Of going through the big tunnel at puppy preschool so I thought I would go ahead and use this through, and we started out basically just putting through. treats in there and then luring her yeah, to go through job. showing yes. her that it's okay oh, you, you get it? it's something good's in there you're gonna get oh, something good out of this and um, now oh, she has no problem she'll actually again. go in and check it once in a while oh.